All right, hello guys, welcome back to another video. Looks like we're gonna be talking about Mr. Beast today because recently two creators have came out against Mr. Beast. Now you guys are probably initially thinking, oh, well, these creators, they gotta be like some really small creators or something, you know, exposing Mr. Beast. And there's no way that this is really a big deal or these YouTubers have to be lying against Mr. Beast because like there's no way Mr. Beast would ever do anything wrong. Now, personally, I don't know if Mr. Beast has done anything wrong, but these two YouTubers in specific are claiming that Mr. Mr. Beast has done something wrong. Now, the two YouTubers we're going to be talking about who have came out against Mr. Beast happen to be Rosanna Pansino and Quackity. Now, Rosanna happens to have around 14 million subscribers here on YouTube, and Quackity has 6 million subscribers here on the platform. Also, that happens to be a combined 20 million subscribers between their two channels. So, I guess that sort of just shows in perspective how big these channels are, and that this is really big. This is not a joke, and it might actually be really serious. Now, before we get into the whole thing, I just wanted to say, as we go through this, please remember that these are not like 100% verified, the things that these guys are saying. There hasn't been anything to back it up, really. So with that being said, I recommend you guys take this with a grain of salt and don't go around saying, oh, this person's lying or Mr. Beast is such a bad person because he did this when we really don't know if he did do this or if he didn't. So yeah, without further ado, let's get into this. I have been allowing others to treat me poorly in private for many years and I'm fed up. I am going to start standing up for myself and finding my voice. Mr. Beast lied and edited me out of the top three in Creator Games 3. I had participated in Creator Games 1 and 2 and was excited to be a part of YouTube's Creator Games 3, hide and seek at SoFi Stadium. After filming had wrapped, I truly couldn't believe how well I did at the competition and was proud of what I had achieved. I had placed third. When the video was released, I was shocked, disappointed, and felt hurt. Mr. Beast had edited the video to make me look like I performed worse than I did. This was extra upsetting because I genuinely believed him when he said that his videos are authentic and real. He edited the video to make it look like the final three people were LeRae, Logan Paul, and Zach King. The final three people were actually Zach, Quackity, and myself. For the entire duration of filming, we all wore earpieces connected to walkie-talkies. They would announce in our ears when someone had been found or when we had to move hiding spots. While I was still hiding, they announced that they found Logan Paul. I couldn't believe I outlasted him. He is a fierce competitor. It was getting really late and they eventually offered me money to come out of hiding and quit. I declined. I had been counting the eliminations and I was currently in fourth place, with LeRae, Quackity, and Zach and myself still remaining. Jimmy asked us to move hiding spots again. It was at this time that I found out I was in transition moving to my next hiding spot. When Jimmy found me, he had brought me to the field with the others that had also been found. I thought I had placed fourth. However, LeRae had fallen asleep and hadn't moved for a long time, so he was disqualified. This meant I got third place. When I had arrived to the field, I saw Matt, Pat, and Logan there because they were speakers now. Jimmy said he was going to go look for Zach and asked if anyone wanted to join him. I offered to help but he said he wanted to take Logan instead. So I hung back to start looking for Zach in a different direction with Matt Pat. I placed third, Quackity placed second, and Zach placed first. That is what actually happened. Despite Jimmy editing out the only female in the top three, I was proud of what I had achieved. I followed the rules of the game, gave it my all, had fun, and never gave up. They can't take that away from me. So yeah, as you guys saw there, I guess that's what we're dealing with. And what it looks like to me, what is happening here, is she is alleging that Mr. Beast faked the video to make it look like her and Quackity were not in the second and third place. Now, I don't know exactly why Mr. Beast would do that. Or actually, now that you think about it, I do. Because I have never heard of this Rosanna person. And I mean, I don't know about you guys. This is the first time I'm ever hearing about this person. Now, I'm not sure if anybody in the audience knows who this is. But I can tell you right now, I never knew who this was until now. And originally when I heard about this, when the news broke, yes, Yesterday in the evening, I thought that this was a small creator that had been wronged by Mr. Beast or something. Like, I was not expecting this to be a big creator. So I really wouldn't be surprised if Mr. Beast manipulated the video to make it look like other people won when that might have not been necessarily true. Now, if this does happen to be true and it's confirmed by Mr. Beast or something like that, and we find out that this is totally true and this did happen, like, I do believe that that is really messed up because it's like she played super hard in this game, made it to third place in a Mr. Beast game, which is absolutely crazy because it's not every day that you get to be in a Mr. Beast game and place in third place, I would be really upset too. And I would understand her feelings. Now, once again, I don't know if this is like 100% true, you know, that Mr. Beast manipulated the video to make it look like she didn't come in 
in third place, but what makes it a little bit more believable is that it looks like on May 22nd, 2022, Quackity told the same story, but in Spanish on his Rubius Twitch channel. But yeah, it looks like the user posted translations, and the first part really doesn't matter to a certain extent. But yeah, if we look right here, it looks like Quackity is looking at the video. It happens to be the Spanish video that is on Mr. Beast Espanol, but it's pretty much the same video, and he says, let's see if I show up. I don't show up anymore. I was there for a whole fucking day, almost two whole days, and I only showed up for like 10 fucking seconds. Well, that's really weird. How come Quackity did not show up if he's claiming that he was there and he was in second place? Like, where did he go? I'm, I'm, I'm so confused. Now, one of the main reasons why people like Mr. Beast is because he makes real content and he doesn't like make fake videos or like manipulate his videos as far as we're aware. But I mean, right here, this is pretty damning when it comes down to if his videos are fake or not. Because we have two people complaining about how they were taken out of the video. And the one person who happens to be Quackity, he was reacting to this on stream. And this was back in 2022. And then more than a year later, Rosanna comes out and she starts talking about it too. Like, I don't think that's a coincidence. And it's just like, if Mr. Beast did something like this, I feel like he needs to come out and he needs to address it because it's really not looking too good for him right now. And I know this really isn't going to hurt his reputation, but just for the sake of these two, I feel like he needs to come out and say something because I could only imagine, say I get into a Mr. Beast competition, right? I make it into second or third place and I'm supposed to be showcased in front of the world in front of all of the people watching Mr. Beast, which happens to be more than 200 million people. And then they just rip me out and replace me with somebody who is like 10 times more relevant than me. So the video can get more clicks. I'm not going to be too happy about that. That might even be something that I would sue Mr. Beast for if that ever did happen. Because despite the fact that you made it only in second or third place, you still would be getting a lot of exposure being on the video and it would end up helping you and your channel and your brand. So yeah, that's really all I have to say about that. I guess we're waiting on Mr. Beast's response because for now, I don't want to say that, oh, Mr. Beast did this and be wrong about it and flat out slander him. But if it does turn out that he did do this and he did edit these two out of the video, they do rightfully deserve at least an apology and maybe more. But yeah, besides that, I think I'm gonna wrap up the video right there. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. If you happen to enjoy this video, make sure you hit the like button because it would really help me out. It would promote the video out to more people so more people will see it. And if you happen to be new to the channel and you're just seeing this video and my channel for the first time, make sure you hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any of my future content. And if you had any questions, comments, concerns, or opinions about anything, make sure you leave a comment down in the comment section down below. And yeah, my name is Brion and I will see you in my next video. Peace. Thank you.